Welcome to the Deliverance Network. I'm going to share with you today a message from Jesus through a visionary, I believe, in the United States. And this message from uh, 2016, I believe May of 2016. And I cannot say that this is definitely one of the church-approved visionaries, uh, but it's one that I had been discerning for quite some time that I do believe is authentic. But again, everyone must discern for themselves. And she's known as Pelianito, for those of you out there who are in the prophetic circles. So you may have heard of her already. And again, I say this is for your discernment. And the message, it talks about specifically the message of mercy, and one we are very, very much called to practice in our times. And I'm going to read you the message of mercy first, and then I'm going to share something else with you about the divine mercy, because I believe it's very important for our times. It's something God has been practicing towards us for years and years and years with great patience. Only the heart of God the Father could have such patience, despite the evil and sin in the world as we see it today. And the message from Jesus from 2016, I believe, goes like this. Oh, my child, if you knew the true power of mercy, would, you would never stop learning about it. You would not cease to practice it. Yet, what is mercy? Does it excuse the sinner? No, there is no excuse for sin. Rather than excusing the sinner, the merciful one reaches out to the sinner and draws that one into the ocean of mercy. For you, the perfect practice of mercy is impossible. Then do not rely on your own limited capacity, but dive deep into the ocean of my mercy and bring with you all those whose hearts are far from me. Believe me, to drown in the ocean of my mercy is to find yourself in heaven. For my mercy dissolves all that is not pure. Can you fathom this, child? It is too much for the human mind, and even angels are in awe. You will never comprehend it in this life, but it will give me great joy in the next life to show you how much your merciful heart was able to accomplish through your great and ever-growing trust in me. And that's trust in Jesus. Do not despair, dear ones, but be as those who have drowned in mercy, and in that drowning have been reborn as agents of mercy. Give me souls, my children. My merciful heart longs for souls. What price will you pay? Ah, but I have already paid the price. Still, you must offer me all you can in the divine will, and I will use it all. Dissolve yourself in my mercy, and we will accomplish much for the kingdom. So that's a message from Jesus purportedly to the visionary Pelianito, uh, who had a Pelianito blog online. I'm not sure if it is still available online, but some of you up there can research it. And Jesus is talking about how we are to imitate and become like the divine mercy. And that's why he says the perfect practice of mercy for us on this earth is impossible. And it's because we are flawed. We get up every day and we try. And that is all that God asks of us. And there's one other app out there that you can receive on your phone. Um, it's a daily meditation from the divine mercy in Stockbridge that might help you in that practice of mercy to have something daily that comes to your inbox to remind you and this is featuring messages from St. Faustina's diary, the Faustina of um, Faustina Kowalska, the diary of divine mercy and in this uh, daily inbox it's called divine mercy daily you can google it and sign yourself up to receive it it's a daily reflection from the diary of St. Maria Faustina Kowalska, and it is brought to you by the um, Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary uh, from Stockbridge, Massachusetts, so a very, very uh, great source. And so if you have not heard of that yet, perhaps find that online, sign yourself up for Divine Mercy daily, and it will help you to practice mercy in your daily life to those around you. Sometimes that is a very, very difficult thing to do when others sin against you. I've spoken about this before, how very hard it can be. Some of the wounds really only Jesus can heal. And so I ask you to reach out to Jesus for that ability to practice the divine mercy and to have better healing in your own life should you find that you need a little help to do it. And I ask that you delve ever more deeply into the meditation 
on the divine mercy and just how merciful God has been to all of us, allowing everything he has and forgiving the worst sins, he immediately immerses you back into his heart and wipes them out. So this is a message of hope for you today, not to despair, but to strive to live in that divine mercy in your lives yourselves. God bless.